All right, everybody. Today we are going to talk about something called jot form. And I'm going to show you uh, really, really quickly how to grow your leads like time t times 10 uh, this year in 2020 by using this simple little free form uh, when it comes to your groups and your business pages, everything really. So uh, first of all, I want to know who has used JotForm before. Let me know if you have used it before or not. Uh, so this is one of the simplest things that you can possibly do for your business that's going to be a huge uh, return on investment for you. So let's go over this. This is uh, really as simple as it gets uh, when it comes to the jot forms that you can create. I have another video that shows you all the tips and tricks and cool things and features that you can do in jot form however I do think this one needs to be simple I think uh, the simplicity of it is what makes it such a powerful tool as well so uh, this form right here if they uh, type in their name and hit submit what's gonna happen is it's going to take them directly to my site Okay, so that's uh, one is their cookie to me now. Now two, it's going to send them this email that I have created. So when they enter their email, they are automatically going to be sent this email right here. So it says, hey, thank you so much for your interest in Chalk Couture. Have you ever tried it or are you new to it? Now, what am I doing here? I am creating a conversation. I actually want them to message me back and say, no, I've never tried it, but I'm excited, right? So I'm, I'm intentionally asking a question. I want you to ask a question when it comes to this. And then it says, I promise to keep you up to date, um, blah, blah, blah. Do you know that we have a subscription box? What's the number thing you want? Number one thing that you want to tell your customers? You need to figure out a catch, a call to action that you want them to check out, okay? So I want them to check out our subscription box. So I said, check out more information here. And then it says, uh, you'll also want to check out these pages. So I gave them my Facebook, my Pinterest, and my Instagram. And then, of course, I'm going to give them the opportunity to join my team right and then I'm also going to put a picture of me to make it personal so if these people have never seen my face before I want to make sure that they do I want to make sure that they see that I am a human being okay so uh, that's a really cool form right now if you uh, go back to my form okay so this is the forward facing form that they are going to see now Here's a little trick uh, that I did. Let's go over here to my chat group, okay? So we're gonna go over to my chat group and you can see that one of the questions when they go to join my group is, would you like some information about Chalk Couture? If you do, enter your email. All right, so what you're gonna do is set up questions on your group to have them give you their email so that you can enter this jot form for them, all right? There are many, many ways that you can use this jot form. This is one of them. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over to my own jot form, okay? I'm going to my own jot form and I'm going to put Elaine and her email and hit submit. Okay. And now I'm going to go back and enter the next one. But here's what I'm doing. I'm going to go over and hold on. Wrong one. Okay. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to go over here and approve her now. All right. So I'm going to approve. I'm going to, and then I have another one, right? So that's what you're doing for this group. You want to make sure that you are collecting that information before you let them in your group. It's a great way to collect leads. So let's go to Chalk Couture. And uh, this, is, this is my uh, group. And then we're going to go to Edit group settings. I'm going to show you how to set up those questions if you don't know. So I'll do this really quickly. So you're going to scroll down and go to 
questions. Um, da -da, da -da. Membership requests, learn more about people. Uh, that's what we want to do. Ask questions. If you'd like a digital link to learn more about Chalk Couture, simply enter your email below. And then how did you hear about um, our group? Okay, so you can add your own questions. So that's what I want you to do with that group. Now, I'm also going to show you how to build this form really quickly. But the other thing that I wanted to do was to tell you that there's a million ways you can use this form. You can use this form in your uh, Facebook parties. If you're still doing Facebook parties, put this as a kind of qualifier. So uh, the first uh, three people who fill out this form are going to get something. OK, um, it doesn't matter. You can put whatever you want, but you can check names and see if anybody from your party filled it out and you can, um, you know, send them a prize or do whatever you want. But it's getting people's information. That's what this is all about. If you have a Facebook page and a Facebook group, you can uh, do uh, certain things where if they fill this out, uh, they get this or you could post it and schedule it once. Once every two weeks, you could schedule this to go out. If you haven't filled this out to get some information on Chalk Couture, uh, here you go. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use this. I would also uh, put it into um, maybe your newsletters or um, something like that. Anyways, this there's, there's a million different ways that you can use this form. Now let's go back over here and I want to show you how to build that exact form. So let me get that up there. Okay, so I titled this uh, Fun with Chalk Couture. And so we're going to create form, start from scratch, hit classic, and then uh, click on this and it's going to bring up all the different things that you can do. But all I want to do is full name and email okay so i want to keep this really simple really simple all right too many options and they're just going to click off of it so make this really simple and then we're going to put uh our header uh we're going to title this um um chalk fun test and now i want to add a picture so i'm going to click on uh image right here and uh, choose a file upload let's go to chuck tour um, we're gonna go to this one all right so you literally drag that where you want so I had that up there and then I added another picture at the bottom for the form and that was choose a file upload um i don't know it was some random um thing that i chose we're just going to choose one uh okay so there you go now i also added some text that said uh so i hit this text button and you click on it uh, don't forget to hit the submit button all right, and then I made that 18, oops, highlight, 18, and I changed the font to Arial Black, and save, all right? And then I moved that up there. Okay, so there's your form, right? So that form is created, that's how easy it is. Now you wanna go to settings. Okay, so on the settings, I want you to click on this emails. <clears throat> Right here where it says auto responder, this is the email that they're going to get, okay? So um, right here, you wanna click on this and then you're gonna title this what you want it to be, Chalk Couture Goodies. And then I deleted this whole form and started with my own. So. Hey there, blah, blah, blah. Here's my links, links, links. And um, you can highlight that text and link it right there. And then you can add an image, upload file. I'm gonna put that one there. Now I do suggest clicking on that and see the little box in the corner. 
um, get your arrow and do this a few times to shrink that image because you uh, you need to make sure that the file sizes of your email isn't too large. Uh, so this is just a really great way to not get kicked into spam. Uh, if your if your files are too large, it can it can look like spam. So um, just shrink those pictures down if you do put pictures in there. But um, you can see this is this is just a really uh, great and easy way to do that and then you'll hit save so what are the things you want to think about you want to think about giving them information on maybe hosting a party or joining your Facebook you know your your different social media profiles you want to talk about joining your team you want to talk about specials I don't know what you want to talk about but make sure that you write it down and this is a very clear concise thing that you want them to do and I highly suggest suggest you asking that question. Now over here you want to click on thank you page all right and here you want to hit redirect to external link and then you want to put your website so when they hit submit it's going to kick them an email and send them to your site and then you go over here and you hit publish and it's going to give you a link and you are a boss lady. You just did something that is going to look killer on your business, right? So it's going to be an amazing way for uh, you to be able to uh, capture those leads in different ways in your business. Um, there's other ways to use JotForm. Uh, you can see from mine, I actually did a craft night and I like to take orders this way. So um, craft night, you can uh, see, let's see, view form. So you can see uh, I do my craft night and I explain what it is and then I say you get to choose uh, which uh, frame you want and then put all their information in and are they attending the online or in-person event so I can actually take orders and have them choose things uh, and that's really nice too and then when you go over here to uh, you say what happens when they submit the form where does that information go well you're gonna get all of that information um, right here so if you hit view submissions you'll be able to see it you can see click rates you can see analytics you can see all kinds of really cool things and then um, you'll also get an email notification every time someone fills out one of these forms. So this is, um, you know, not new. I've been teaching job form for a few years now, but I wanted everyone to actually be able to see that you can start doing this with your groups and those questions. That was the most important thing that I wanted you to take away today was get those emails from your peeps. Provide them a form or some kind of something uh, in order to fill that out. So your question on your group should be, hey, would you like a, a, a form on how to create your first chalk tour project or something like that? You, you want to give them something uh, for giving you their email. So figure out what you can give them. Figure out if you sell Pampered Chef, um, figure out how to make a, a printable. You know, Julie uh, with Angel Kiss Design, uh, she can make printables for you in a hot second. So you can say, if you are Pampered Chef, you can say, here's uh, um, measurements. Uh, you fill out your email below to get a kitchen helper uh, with. Uh, all kinds of um, measurements and something like that anyways that they can they can print so if you're if you're jewelry um, how about a printable that uh, walks you through um, different ways to travel with jewelry or something like that or clean jewelry um, so or tips on on cleaning jewelry something like that just think about what you can do and create that for your group so that you have something to offer them when they give you their email. All right. So I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you uh, share this with somebody who uh, you think would love it. Bye guys.